Hi everyone, it's Sorkin. Today we are going to take a look at the sliding window and in what kind of cases we can use it. So first let's take a look at the problem. The problem is that we are given an array of integers and we need to calculate the maximum sum of the k consecutive elements in the array. So how we are going to solve this problem? One of the way how we can solve this problem, so we are for the each index, we are calculating k numbers. So for example, for the zero index, we are calculating 2 plus 1 plus 4, exactly the same we are doing for the first index, 1 plus 4 plus 6, then we are doing for the second index, and so on and so forth. So what's the problem with this approach? The problem is that uh, we are using a nested for loop, and uh, as a result, our time complexity is n square. Can we do better than that? The question is that the, can we can we replace our nested for loop with a single for loop? And as a result, can we reduce our time complexity from the n square to n? Yes, we can do that, and we are going to do that with the sliding window approach. So what's the idea behind the sliding window approach? The idea is that we are, for example, in this case, k is equals to 3. So we are calculating the sum of the elements when the k is equals to 3, so which is 2 plus 1 plus 4, and we are maintaining a maximum sum. The maximum sum in this case is equals to 7. Then we are, instead of recalculating that for every index, for example, for the first index in this case, we are just moving our window. So by moving, we are including the rightmost element, 6 in this case, and excluding the leftmost element, 2 in this case. So then we are calculating the sum. So 7 minus 2, right, excluding the leftmost element. 5 and the 5 plus 6 gives us 11. Is 11 more than 7? Yes, it is. We are updating our maximum sum. And now again, we are moving our window to the next one. Again, we are calculating the sum here by including the rightmost and excluding the leftmost. And the sum in this case is 15. Is 15 more than 11? Yes, it is. We are updating our maximum sum. And the same way we are moving our window. And once we reach the end of the array, we got our maximum sum. So as you can see, it's a very easy algorithm to implement. It's a very easy approach to implement. And we are reducing our time complexity in this case from the n square. So we are moving from the nested for loop to singular single for loop. And as a result, we are reducing our time complexity from n square to n. So if we summarize in one sentence what is exactly sliding window, we can say that the sliding window, it's a technique to transform nested for loops into a single one. Okay, uh, that's it for today. That's it for the sliding window. Hope you like my content. If you like it, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. See you next time. Bye.